See, this isn't an ordinary recession. It's not even an ordinary depression. It is a huge shift in, in the same way as we shifted from the agricultural age to the industrial age. And we went from focusing on sheep in a field to putting the wool into mills and, and weaving fabrics from it. This is also the real economic shift from the industrial age into the knowledge economy. Now, when PCs were invented and they started to come in in 1986, the late 80s, then yes, we were using knowledge tools. But the actual systems, the financial systems, the business systems and the models that were underpinning that shift hasn't changed. You know, the, the double entry bookkeeping system hasn't changed for 450 years. That was invented by a Venetian in Italy. And the way that we account for our businesses has been the same for that period of time. So these shifts that we're now going through are, are huge shifts. And, and we don't have the systems and we don't have the platforms and the new institutions that can empower the people to, to think in this way. I'll give you an example. In the United Arab Emirates, they understand cars, they understand factories, they understand buildings. But all the intellectual property assets, they don't understand because they can't see them. And yet in the knowledge economy, it is the transference of knowledge and processes and technology that makes the difference. You can't just give someone a solar panel who's been looking after a sheep or who's been cutting steel in a factory and, and expect them to know what to do with it. We have to transfer and we have to train people on how to think about the new technologies, how to install them, how to distribute them, how to maintain them. All of those things have to happen and the processes have to be set up before we can then implement the technology on a large scale. And so my work in the United Arab Emirates has been very much focused on how come we've had solar technology since 1976, we've had an abundance of sunlight, we've got 89,000 unemployed Emiratis, so how come we don't have a green economy? It's very simple because the first two steps of knowledge transfer and process transfer were non-existent. Now we're correcting that, we're greening 70 buildings, and as we green them, all the employees, all the residents, all the children participate in that process. So they learn in real time. And then the videos of that are going to be distributed by the Department of Environment and the Department of Education. So that very quickly we can disseminate those processes, we can disseminate the knowledge and give people the stepping stones of how they can go green in practice as well. So the way that we use knowledge in the knowledge economy and the way that we empower people to do this is, is really critical.